Fiber optics have become commonplace on board naval vessels in the last few years. This video will discuss the installation procedure for both COTS, commercial off-the-shelf, and military quality ST, single terminus, connectors. Safety precautions should always be observed when dealing with fiber optics. Safety glasses should be worn at all times while performing the installation procedures. Avoid skin contact with adhesives. When the heater is in operation, place it away from combustibles. When cleaning fiber optic products, always use fiber optic cleaning solution or isopropyl alcohol. Here is a list of the tools that will be used in this procedure and are contained in most fiber optic repair kits. Jacket strip tool, Kevlar shears, black permanent marker, OFCC stripper or optical fiber cable component stripper, cleaving tool, ST crimp tool, timer, polishing film 1 micron, polishing film 5 microns, glass polishing plate, 400 times microscope assembly, boot ring installation tool from military quality ST connectors only. Using the jacket strip tool, remove approximately 127 millimeters or 5 inches of outer shielding. Separate and peel back the Kevlar strengthening fibers. Using the Kevlar shears, cut the Kevlar even with the outer jacket. Peel back the moisture barrier and cut using the Kevlar shears. Untangle and cut the moisture barrier binders with Kevlar shears. Separate fibers to allow access to the central strength member. Cut the central strength member with the Kevlar shears. For COTS connectors, slide on fiber identification, the boot, and crimp sleeve. Using the template provided with the connector kit, place the fiber on the template and mark the outer OFCC jacket 33 millimeters or 1.3 inches from the end with a black permanent marker. Using the OFCC stripper, carefully strip a small amount of jacket exposing the Kevlar. When it is obvious the Kevlar is exposed all the way around, carefully pull off the outer jacket. Lay the fiber on the template again and mark the Kevlar 6 millimeters or 0.25 inches from the outer jacket with the black permanent marker. Separate the Kevlar and using the Kevlar shears cut it at the mark. Measure and mark the fiber buffer 20 millimeters or 0.75 inches from the end of the fiber using the black permanent marker. Using the OFCC stripper, carefully remove the fiber buffer back to the mark. Remove the buffer in small sections because the uncoated fiber is at its most vulnerable state. Take extreme care not to damage the unprotected fiber. Using an isopropyl alcohol cleaning wipe, 
remove any residual coating material from the bare fiber. Wipe from the end of the buffer towards the end of the fiber. Do not wipe the bare fiber repeatedly as this will weaken the fiber. After inspecting the connector and verifying that the ferrule hole is clear of dirt, begin mixing the epoxy. The epoxy is a two-part mixture that is gently mixed by running the fingers over the sealed tube. Continue mixing until the epoxy is a smooth, even color. Do not introduce large air bubbles into the epoxy during the mixing process. Large air bubbles can lead to connector failure during temperature extremes. Remove the plunger and squeeze the epoxy into the syringe. Remove any air pockets in the syringe by holding the tip of the syringe upward and dispensing epoxy. Slide the rear of the connector onto the syringe tip. Depress the plunger and slowly inject epoxy into the connector until it escapes out of the ferrule. Slowly withdraw the syringe from the connector, maintaining some pressure on the plunger as the syringe is withdrawn so that the connector is completely filled with epoxy. Insert the fiber into the rear of the connector, gently working the fiber through the connector until the buffer seats against the rear of the ferrule. The OFCC jacket should come up to the connector barrel and the Kevlar should surround the rear of the connector barrel. Once inserted, do not allow the fiber to slip back. Ensure that a thin coat of epoxy is applied to the Kevlar strands and the buffer. Slide the crimp sleeve over the OFCC jacket and Kevlar onto the connector barrel. Using the crimping tool, crimp the sleeve against the connector barrel, rotate the connector 90 degrees and crimp it again. Carefully place the cure adapter over the fiber and mate it to the connector so that the connector barrel is at maximum extension from the rear of the connector. Turn the curing oven on before the connector is in place so that it reaches the proper temperature, approximately 20 minutes. Place the cure adapter with the connector in the curing oven and position the OFCC vertically over the oven. Cure the epoxy for a minimum of 10 minutes and a maximum of 30 minutes. Turn the curing oven off and remove the connector and cure adapter from the curing oven. Allow the cure adapter and connector to cool for approximately four minutes. Remove the connector from the cure adapter and score the fiber close to the ferrule tip 
at the epoxy interface using one short light stroke with the cleaving tool. Pull off the fiber with a gentle straight pull. Air polishing can be accomplished by holding the connector vertically and the end of the fiber polished off by lightly running the 5 micron polishing paper over the top of the ferrule tip. Insert the connector into the polishing tool. Place the 5 micron polishing paper on the glass plate and start polishing the connector with very light pressure using a figure 8 motion. Do not over polish the connector. Inspect the ferrule tip frequently. Replace the 5 micron paper with the 1 micron paper. Wet the paper and polish the connector with very light pressure using a figure 8 motion for about 10 to 20 complete motions. Remove the connector from the polishing tool. Clean it using a wipe dampened with alcohol and blow it dry with air. Examine the connector with the optical microscope to ensure that the optical surface is smooth and free of scratches, pits, chips, and fractures. A high intensity black light may be used to eliminate the fiber during the quality check. If the connector is not to be immediately mated into an adapter, install a plastic protective cap over the connector ferrule. For military quality ST connectors, follow the previous example until it is time to apply the boot to the connector. When installing the military quality boot, Use the boot ring installation tool to push the boot into position. Apply a drop of epoxy onto the rubber boot threads. Slip the boot over the crimp sleeve and screw it onto the connector body. When installed correctly, the fiber optic connector will serve the Navy for a long time.